Hello everybody from YouTube, welcome to today's video, my name is Rhino Linux Guy, and after realizing quite recently that with almost 53,000 total views and nearly 100 subscribers, I really need to get back into uploading videos on a frequent basis. So today I'm going to be running a follow-up video to a video I released a couple weeks ago on how to install Steam skins on Mac OS X. Now this is the Windows version, um, so without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Let's go to DeviantArt.com. This process procedure is the same as my other video. It's the installation that's different. I will go ahead and get that out of the way right now. I will have a uh, link in the description to skip directly to the installation process, but now that I'm on Debian Art, I will go ahead and type in Steam Skin for the search bar and go ahead and find not the brony stuff. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Metro for Steam. Um, it's very small files, so they're not going to be too large. You're basically just going to, once it's done downloading, drag it to your desktop or just at least remember where you put the file. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, close out of WinRAR's prompts to get me to buy their software. Uh, put this on my desktop really quickly. And um, at this point, this is going to be where it's different. This is going to be where the uh, installation begins. So uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and go into the Steam directory, which is... Um, if you don't know that off the top of your head, it is program files x86 under your C drive, and then it is uh, the folders just called Steam. So just go into your local disk, go to the folder that says program files x86, and scroll all the way down to where it says Steam. Hit enter, and then go into the folder that says Skins, and you are then going to drag in the file for the uh, for the skin. Now, whenever you've opened the file or the folder for the skin, you're going to go in here, and if you're on Windows 7 and older, you're going to install this font, but if not, you're just going to go ahead and drag the Metro for Steam file into the skins folder in your Steam directory. So just give my good old hard drive optical disk a second to compute that and now that that is done you are going to go into your steam and uh, you're going to basically the switch over process is the same as my Mac tutorial um, because the steam interface is pretty much the same across the both platforms um, so once steam loads up I apologize I'm on my laptop today so load times are going to be a little bit uh, longer than you are used to if you watch primarily my desktop videos my laptop is mainly a work computer, um, and everything else is either gaming or just a hobby. For example, my Hackintosh is a hobby, and uh, just figured, you know what, hey, can I do it? Yes, I can, apparently. I got that all working and set up. I have videos on my channel for how to do that if you all are interested, and my other computer is just a gaming computer. So, you know, they're built to have um, uh, high at frame rates, quick load times, everything like that, whereas this is just a work computer. So let me go ahead and log into my Steam account real quickly. And um, I apologize for the rambling. I'm just trying to fill up the empty space while I'm waiting for my Steam to load. Um, so, yes, a uh, quick channel update while this is loading. I recently received my EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 SC with 8 gigabytes of GDDR5, which is a huge upgrade from my 950 from EVGA, and uh, I will have more details on that in a further video, but for now, let's go ahead and go into your settings. After clicking on the Steam drop-down menu at the very top, go to the Interface tab and click on where it says Default Skin and switch over to the name of the skin that you just downloaded and installed. Say OK there, and then say Restart Steam. Now, Momentarily, I don't know why Gmod is running in the background, and I may have to, uh, it doesn't look like I'll have to force close it with Task Manager, but we're going to wait for Steam to restart here so that my skin will be applied and uh, ready to go. So, again, 4 gigabytes of RAM and a 7200 RPM hard drive. This is what it gets you. So... We're going to go ahead and open up Steam. 
real quickly log in and as you can see the entire interface has been changed you now have different uh, locations for your downloads button your friends button is also up here you have a more material looking um, library community uh, game buttons you have a hamburger bar for all of your options for steam uh, in terms of launching uh, big picture mode etc you even have a metro for steam link up here in the top corner um, so it'll take a couple minutes for that to uh, launch because my laptop's very slow but anyway without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you all who have subscribed to me in the past two years of me being on here I really appreciate it and it's really cool to see some people enjoying the kind of content that I put out so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one until then my name is random Linux guy and I am out <laughs>